Hello and welcome back. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about connecting crystal reports to a database, adding tables, and then linking those tables. First I have my template report up. I just have the report header filled in, that's it, and a little box around it. So this is what it looks like. First thing you want to do is connect to your database or your data source. Which you could, in that case, you're gonna to have to open up what's called the database expert. It's this little sil orange cylinder right here, or you can right-click here and select database expert, and it brings up this window. Uh, under create new connection, you can see the different data types or data sources that are supported. Some examples are SQL Server, Oracle, uh, Microsoft Access uh, database. Uh, you can even connect your Windows Event Viewer, uh, Exchange, stuff like that. So I've already got my connection and I use an Oracle server. I've already configured it. I'm not going to get too much into how you configure the connection, but uh, it's relatively simply simple. And if you don't have don't know how to do it, your database administrator should be able to tell you how. Um, I'm already connected here, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this database. And to get to, it depends on how your database is set up, but my tables are located here. And just for instructional purposes, I am going to add this table called TRX. And usually you'll know what you want to add. And depending on what you want to add, then you know which tables to grab. And there's going to be report requirements that will tell you that. And then if you don't know what's in each table, your database usually will have what's called a data dictionary and it will be like an Excel spreadsheet with a list of all the tables and then all the fields inside each of these tables and what kind of data types they are and a little short description of what they're used for. So getting back I have this TRX table and I'm gonna grab this producer table and all you do is highlight it you can double click it or click the little arrow and now they're over here on this side under my selected tables pane. I'm gonna go up that's how you would add tables to the report. Now I'm going to go up and click on this link tab and without getting into too much detail on how databases work you have to link up similar data types usually you want to link up indexed uh, fields. These little arrows indicate that they're indexed. The color indicates their index order. Um, you can also sort the tables, all the individual fields by alphabetical order. I wouldn't recommend that. Usually you want your mostly used fields listed at the top and that's the way that uh, mine is set up. So as you can see there's a producer field here and a producer field here. So those are the two tables that I know I want to link up. So I'm just going to click and drag them and link them up like that. So now these two tables are joined by the producer field. And then I'm just going to click OK and when that little refresh report data comes up just click OK to that. There's nothing on on the report right now so it doesn't have to connect to the database but if I expand the database fields now I have the two tables and I have the two the two um, tables inside there like that. So if I, I can open and close them and then I can see all the different fields inside the table. And that's it for this le lesson. Next coming up, we're going to add one of these fields to the report. Thanks for watching.